Hi everybody, this is your spiritual colorist and diamond painting painter coming to you once again in the new year. So what's new for 2022? And I wanted to come to you today with a small haul in the beginning of January. I'm now settled down in my new place. I have a little more time to get things started and start doing more videos. So sorry if it's, there's been a delay because I've been trying to get situated with my moving. And I'm kind of getting there. <laughs> I'm not all the way there, but I'm there. Because it's only been, what, only the third week since I've moved into my new place. But I hope everyone is doing fine in the beginning of the new year. And everyone is blessed and refreshed. So I wanted to share with you a small haul. I didn't buy any, you know, a whole lot of stuff for the new year. That's not me. But I always tell you guys, I come to you with positive vibes, motivation, and, you know, enlightenment. And I always gravitate towards whatever my spirit feels led to do. So here, we're going to start with books that I bought. And this one is one of the ones I bought called Wild Soul. And if you look on Amazon, you have two different types of Wild Soul. Now this one, if you look through it, there's a little more cartoonish looking pictures. But it's, the pictures are not bad at all. The pictures are really beautiful to me. I love the way they look. I don't think that it's not something I can color. Um, I could do a lot of practicing in here because you guys know I love nature. And so I love the picture, some of the pictures in here. They're totally different from the other Wild Soul book. And there's a woman with a bird on her shoulder. The girl and the lion. I'm never going to do a whole flip through, you know, I'm just skimming through the book. But this is the one of the Wild Soul books. But this one, when you look through this one, you have pages like this, the parrot, and my favorite, the woman with the lamb. One of the things I want to start in the new year is definitely getting better at my portraits and my background and bringing you guys some new vibes with art is in itself. And talking about different artists and how we bring life to the page and what really inspires us to get into the creative artists within ourselves. Whether you like using just pencils, um, acrylic paint, you know, what's your, what did you have found as your niche uh, when it comes to um, being a colorist? Some people like using pastels and I guess it just varies, but I'm learning for myself. But there may be some things I'm more drawn to than others. But learning to do portraits and learning to do the eyes and the different tools and the hair of what you can use is one of my learning um, skills that I'm really trying to enhance and do better in. This book has um, is really kind of gray skillish and I love the pictures in it. And I will be practicing out of this book. And you probably will see me do probably my whip and check color coloring of this year out of this book from start my other book is this one it's called coloring inspired by nature by margarine Baskin. and this one you can do watercolor with um so i like the way like you see the bird first let me show you the picture on the other side then you come to this side and you can do um, probably plain pencil, but I can also see watercolor pencils being done in a book like this. That's the rabbit. I've seen my girl, um, Zucchini Kitty, the pictures out of here, and use distressed ink, and the pictures look awesome. So there's all types of tools you can use in books like these, and just learning how to get the right tools and blend things in and make it look awesome. I'm sorry if my camera is shaking. Should be doing it. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Maybe it looks a little better. Yes. And this is a really pretty book. Here's another pretty picture of the flowers. And doing it from this perspective where the picture is a really light imprint. But I think, like I said, this could be done in watercolor or paint. I also 
had an inspire, inspirational book, not inspiring, an inspirational book called Spiritual Wings and Fly. And I love this book because there's so many different wonderful quotes in it. And you can start with the months. And you have the bold and alert for January. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it has a little tree. Like the tree of life. That's my month. My birthday. I just had a birthday. Yes. And the 20th. Yes, being a year older. Oh, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. It's a blessing to be here for another year. But we all know, like, as time goes on, you feel the energy and, you know, the vibrance of what your next plans is for your future as you're maturing and getting older into those next steps of life. <laughs> and like this tree is my tree of life. Just trying to figure out every branch and every development, developmental stage from where you were, where you're going, and where you want to be. That's me. So that's the January. And then you have a picture like this, the angel. I like this picture. So I'm definitely going to be doing this before the end of the month is out. Which we only have a couple of days left. Yes. So I'll probably just show this later on at the end of the month. It's one of the pages I've done for January. And in the end, there's a word of encouragement that says, no matter what accomplishments you make, somebody helped you. I'll see you again soon. All the time. And I love it because there's a cup. It's just flowers come out there. I love your cup overflow. Let life bring you joy, even though there's sadness, there's pain, there's consequences, there's challenges, there's wonders, there's blessings. And there's so much thing, new things that can be filled in our cup in life. But through it, we have the ability to get through it all and take lessons to learn from it. That's my little inspirational thing. <laughs> and February is lucky and loyal. So that's the next one. And there is, uh, the, to me, the eternity circle with flowers coming out of it. And I love it because each month has something different and has a different angel. So, yeah, I think I'm going to do this book for like a monthly um, coloring challenge and do something every month. As well as my flower book, which I'll show you guys in my next video that I've seen a lot of people have online. is the Flower Essence book. And here's a flower you can do every month. And my portrait book that I really love, and I love this artist. Her name's Anastasia Ellie Coderella. Coderella? Making sure I'm seeing it right. But Coderella, and it is so, so many beautiful pictures in this book. Portraits. As you look through the book, the portraits are just like, oh. So, 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 so stunning. And I had to try these portraits out because they were just like so beautiful. I started doing this page. I did start a little bit. Had to try something. Um, with the guy with the eagle on his back. And this is what I love about this particular book. It does have middle pictures. Not that I'm not going to have women pictures, but I think there should be more male figures in some of the artistic book collections of artists. Period. <laughs> yes. And there you go. The women and the horse. These are just some. I'm not going to give you an entire flip through, of course. If I'm ever going to give you an entire flip through, you know, I will let you know in the beginning. I did do a little brief flip, flip through of how beautiful the pictures look. And I love this one. This is something I definitely want to try. And those are my books. And on the side, here is my Black Widow pencil. These are, I finally got the whole Black Widow set, y'all. I am um, about to receive the other skin tone. I have the first skin tone, which is the dark one. And then I have the dragon. And I think that the colors in this are so beautiful. 
which are 24. Yeah, 36, sorry. I'm call them 36. And they're so pretty. With the skin tones, you can leave the eyes and the skin and so many different colors with the darker tones with the olive. I really like the skin tones in there. So this is what I'll be trying to use for my skin tone. I have other skin tones. Um, but I particularly want to try the black widows because I really like the way they look. And then I tried to get these from Faber Castle, which were pastel. And these are kind of dry when you use them. I did try it out, but um, they come out. They look pretty. They look okay. I think I tried a little sample. Hold on. I tried to sample in a book like this using the pastel. And then I did go over it with a black widow. So that's kind of using Faber Castell. Green. And then went over it with a green black widow. And that's kind of what it came out to look like. And I didn't think it looked bad. But I was thinking of using it more for the background um, pictures that I want to do. The background. So that's how it kind of looks with that. And I also got these. Because I've seen someone do pictures with these. And they use some blending tools with it. And the picture in the back looked awesome. So I will definitely be letting you guys know how that turns out because using these and then using like some blending tools with the um the mineral spirit alcohol, the what kind of odorless mineral spirit alcohol um blending to enhance the color. Yes, we'll be trying that out and talking about it and how you know it really makes the picture look more brighter or more darker or out you know brings out more of that color in the background because i really love watching the videos when people do their backgrounds they use so many different tools distress ink acrylic paint um but me and backgrounds never never got along and we're learning to get along now so these are my little tools and books that i bought for this month and yes this is like i said before this is an art that I know I will continue to do as time goes on and some people choose to pick up hobbies for a season. But this is definitely an art that I know I'll always love and be drawn to because of all of the creative ways. Sorry if you can't see that too. All of the creative things you can do um, in adult coloring as well as I know I love my diamond painting so we're still be um, doing diamond painting because I'm going to start a really big diamond painting this year and it's something I've never done and that's one of the things I wanted to tackle and challenge is doing a bigger diamond painting than I've done before because I think the biggest I've done is 50 by 50 but I've never really done um, the bigger diamond paintings let me just try to straighten out my camera a little bit I haven't really done like the bigger diamond paintings where you really get to um uh really see the image more clearer and do something bigger like I have a 50 by 70. So I want to try to do a bigger diamond painting, see how long it takes me and start one because there's one I really want to put on my wall. So that's where I'm going to go with that. And you guys will be seeing it so that's shaking in my camera later on. And these are my books and tools and i want to thank you guys so much for coming in and stopping by do like and subscribe if you like my content and my page and if you want looking for for more great videos and joining me in exploring more artistic levels of art and learning how to enjoy being a colorist and just bringing out the creative artist within yourself with inspiration, motivation, and understanding. All right, you guys, be blessed, stay positive, 
and be safe. And I will always keep you guys in my prayers because I know this virus is still out here. So for anyone going through it or have had it, or I know it's a big challenge right now for the mask wearing and all those other things. Stay blessed, be safe, wash your hands, keep your mask on, and you are always in my prayers. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.